What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to another video during the season 28 PTR. Today we are checking out the Frenzy Barb. So what they changed was is that they changed that the uh, excuse me, the six set piece bonus was a thousand increased damage per stack, and now it is 2000 damage per stack. So, we're taking a look at the new changes. I brought a build for you guys, so we're going to test this out. So, uh, let's take a look at everything. Uh, so, we have the full Horde of the 90 Savages set, uh, the two piece bonus, double the effectiveness of shouts, and you get double damage uh, to feared, frozen, or stunned enemies, and then each stack. Uh, Frenzy stack reduces damage taken by 6% and Frenzy lasts twice as long, which is great because we're going to stack this up to 10 times. And then, of course, the 2,000 damage increase per stack. So it's another 20k damage instead of 10,000 total damage. We had paired this with the Abdul set uh, for reduced damage and increased damage from elites uh, and just in general, which is really, really nice, guys. So uh, with our rings and our belt, we have the COE. You could probably swap this out for something else if you were really feeling it. But uh, we wrap this with the uh, COE, uh, which is just great for rotational damage. And then Band of Might to help keep us alive every single time we hit Ferocious Charge. We get damage reduction, which is nice. And then, of course, Squirts uh, for just more damage in general. Our belt that we have is the Undisputed Champion. Frenzy gains the effect of every rune and deals increased damage, which is great. Uh, and then down here on our weapons, guys, we have Oathkeeper. This is prime. You definitely have to have this. Your primary attacks... Uh, hit 50% faster and deal increased damage, which is great. And then we have Ingium, and we put our, uh, we used our um, ashes to to pop this and make this Primal Ancient. I would have done this one, but we just had a better Oathkeeper. Uh, so we have Ingium because this build, although it attacks very, very fast and mobility isn't as great, the only mobility we really have is with Ferocious Charge, but the entire design of this is to get from one elite pack to another elite pack to have Ingium just pop off and keep our cooldowns going. Uh, so it's very important that you do that, or if you have large groups, then you just smash them, which is just fantastic. Our legendary gems, guys, we got uh, Molten Wizard, Molten Wildebeest Gizzard for damage, or damage reduction. Uh, and then, of course, Simplicity Strength, because we're hitting with just a primary skill. We're not doing anything else for more damage, and then Bane of the Trap for more damage. Uh, into our Q. Very important, you have to have the Bastions re Revered. Frenzy stacks up to 10 times now and will hit an additional time per stack, which is just great. And then it deals additional uh, chain damage to enemies within 15 yards. Fantastic. Dev Digger's primary skills, which we're attacking with, deal 100% increased damage. Uh, Ring of Royal Grandeur to pair the sets together. Into our skills, we have Frenzy Berserk. It is going to be a bit of a cold build, uh, so we're going to do even more damage with this and attack speed increase. Ferocious Charge, Cold Rush... I've toyed with this on doing this or getting uh, Merciless Assault just so that way we can keep popping around. But the Cold Rush is nice when you're going up against Elite. You Cold Rush in and hit them. They're frozen. And then they take that increased uh, damage from Frenzy. Uh, so we got that from Mobility. Threatening Shout Falter to help... Uh, have them take increased damage by 25%. Now remember, everything's doubled, so they take 50%. Then we have Warcry Veterans Warning, which uh, increases our armor uh, by 40% and our dodge chance by 60%, which is fantastic. And then Bloodshed for more damage against enemies uh, when we hit critical hits, which is great. Then of course, what's a Barbarian build without Wrath of the Berserker and Sanity for more damage? I did toy with this doing 50% increased um, damage reduction, but really we're attacking so fast, we just wanna kill things on the spot. Into our passives, pretty standard here guys, Berserker Rage, Brawler, uh, Brawler for more damage when there's more enemies in front of us. Three or more, we get more damage. Rampage for more damage. And then Boon of uh, Bokathos for um, cooldown reduction. So that is the build, guys. I've kind of toyed around with uh, swapping out NGM or using different different skills. But overall, it's a pretty standard setup for it. You could maybe do something different here, but we want the increased damage. Uh, in reality, you could probably get away with doing... Um, you probably get away with doing uh, Captain Crimson's. I don't. You'd have to get rid of this, but we need this belt. You have to have this belt. So I don't really see how you do it because it's just belt, uh, pants, and then like boots. So you really couldn't do it. So we have to have that. All right. So we're gonna go in. We're gonna showcase a uh, a ninety for you guys as per usual. The build is pretty simple. All we're gonna do is pop Wrath of the Berserker. 
We're gonna hit all of our shouts. We're gonna keep these up as much as possible. These two will be pretty stagnant for um, a second. And then once they cool down goes off, you repop them and then Falter, we're going to keep this up as much as possible. And then every time we hit Elise with Ingium, we're going to Ferocious Charge everywhere and try to find the next pack. And then it's just swinging out with Berserker. So let's go in and do this. I think this build, it's it's decently fast, guys. We've been doing like 90s in like two minutes or so, a little bit more depending on the map. But the build is still really, really fun. So let's get into it. Okay, this map kind of sucks, but that's okay. We see the Elites here. Bloodshed, pop the bloodshed off. Get that. We got Ingium going. You just kind of want to zoom around. Use Ferocious Charge during Ingium to kind of hit uh, as many people to zoom you across the map as possible. Um, but it's it's kind of cool. You get them all bunched up like this, and you just want to keep it going. I wish we had more cooldown than we have to be able to keep Boon of Okathos up. 100% and I know that's a that's a tall task there but uh it's kind of what we what we what we would like to happen and I know it's not ideal but it, it is what it is it's fine keep that engine going there we go give me a conduit that's what I'm talking about get it kill all these things you see how much you attack with right like it's we want Falter to be up non-stop. That's probably the only one that you're going to hit constantly and just not worry about. We're getting really lucky here with the Elites, man. This is great. This is fantastic. So, see, I'm, like, dodging a lot of the smaller mobs. If there's not a, a decent, you know, like, a decent size of mobs there or a group of monsters you just need to blow right by them because your passive abilities are just gonna like the ex excess damage it's just gonna do everything that you need so there's not really a sense to do it we actually like crush this actually see you freeze the elite you freeze the rift guardian with uh ferocious charge and just absolutely dominate we actually crush that that's actually really cool okay so let's go hit this real quick Get our gems up because why not because this is what we do so we actually crushed that guys we actually did really really good here we got that in sub two minutes which is nice i pretty much aim for two minutes every single time i think we got a little lucky with the elites but that's okay but that's it the frenzy barb is in a really good spot i think uh i think this is going to be really good for groups you know to do um as far as speed builds you still want to do uh whirlwind barb or um probably LOD again from last season, even though we don't have the power, but still this build is really, really cool. And it's really fun to see frenzy actually get some, some love. Cause I know blizzard is like doing their best to kind of buff some of these other classes or parts of a set bonus to that way, get some more playability out of, but this build is really, really good guys. I think it's really fun. You kind of just ferocious charge around and just slash things up. So I think the build is really, really fun. Remember to elite hunt always like the video guys if you did enjoy it make sure to comment down below what do you guys think of, of the new buff to the frenzy barb and how viable it's going to be in groups for sure um and as always guys stay gaming we'll catch you guys in the next one peace